is up guys, it is Ono Tech here today, and have you guys really thought why you or a friend have bought a Mac? Um, it's funny because last night I was researching it up on Google, and the top answer was because Mac has no viruses, or there's a lack of viruses compared to other operating systems like Windows, and the question is, why is that? Can Macs get viruses? Are they prone to viruses? Are they not prone to viruses? That's a whole ton of questions that I hope to answer today with this video. Well, the answer to that question is Macs can actually get viruses. In fact, there is a virus that's pretty common called clapzock.a, and it's been added to the virus list for tons and tons of Mac antivirus softwares. So the real question is, is Mac as prone to viruses as Windows? And I would say the answer to that question is no, Mac is not as prone to viruses as Windows, which is why it's pretty uncommon for you to really hear about a virus on the Mac that really destroyed the Mac or the MacBook or the Apple product in general. And while the real question is, why do Macs have less problems with viruses and malware? Then you have to go back to Mac's roots and the roots uh, operating system in Mac is Unix. And while the first thing that really comes to mind when people hear the word Unix is the fact that it's known for its security. It was actually dated back before the Microsoft Windows base operating system, so that really does validate its reliability. So what about Unix makes it really secure? Well, there are a few things, but one of them is it's really cool user group access level. Each different user in the operating system will have different access powers to different files, meaning that the root user will have pretty much all uh, complete administrative access, and other users, depending on what level they are in the operating system, will have as much access. And usually every single file is protected with some sort of access code, meaning that if you don't have the right level of access, then you're probably not going to be able to hack in or even get to see what's in that file. In hindsight, you're actually going through layers and layers and layers of security just to get to the file that you want. And usually that's very, very tedious for hackers. Not only that, but most registry and program files, the files that actually make up the operating system, are usually random when some sort of malware or some sort of virus actually enters the operating system. So with that being said, no real virus is going to attack the heart of the operating system unless that hacker or that virus actually has computer access to the operating system, meaning that they can actually physically insert something that will delete or give them access, full administrator access, to hurt the hardcore of the OS. Another awesome security feature of Unix that really does help prevent viruses is the fact that you really need passwords to do many tasks, meaning that if you don't have the password or you don't know the password, then you really can't access that particular file. Not only that, but only the root user or the administrator, the person that actually maybe set up the computer or has all of the access can actually see the files in the registry. But the passwords in the registry are encoded, so they actually have to go through a decoding process to see even all the rest of the other user group passwords, which makes it extra secure, but can be a bit tedious. And the very real last point I want to make is the fact that Windows is, unfortunately, a lot easier to hack. There's not as much of a high level of security on Windows in any of the operating systems, even though Windows 8 and 8.1 is pretty secure than Mac. But most viruses are actually made natively for Windows, meaning that if the same virus does happen to attack a Mac or a MacBook, then it's not really going to get very far, considering that Mac doesn't run EXEs just like Windows does. And I think the final question after all of this discussion is, do I really need an antivirus when it comes to Mac? Well, let me just say for Windows, you definitely do, should, and will need an antivirus because Windows doesn't have such a high level security like I previously explained. But for Mac, if you're just a regular daily user, you're not an enthusiast in terms of Mac terms, then I don't really think an antivirus would be needed, though it should be downloaded, but it won't really affect you as much. Now, if you're using Macs as a server or for a big business, then I would highly recommend investing into a decent, good, and very reliable antivirus because pretty much anything could happen. And all in all, guys, you just have to be a very smart computer user. Lay off the torrenting and pretty much double or triple check everything that you download to make sure that it's reliable. Because honestly, you're only as smart as your computer, and the person behind the computer is usually the reason why a computer gets viruses in the first place. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. Um, I'm sorry, I will have my setup video up soon, probably by the end of 
this weekend or hopefully by Wednesday. So stick around guys, like, share, subscribe, all of that stuff if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Peace.